So before we get into today's video, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, make sure to hit that bell, turn on post notifications so you are notified every time we drop. And you know you will to be notified every time we drop. In today's video, we're going to do a reaction video to uh, one of Damien Cryer's videos, um, Mr. Billy Blanks himself, man, allegedly. No pun intended to the real Billy Blanks, but everybody that's watching this video, y'all know why I call his name Billy Blanks. But with that being said, man, since they want us to believe their content is real, we're going to react to their content like it's real. Hey guys, do me a favor. Go follow me on Instagram right now. Damien Cryer Sr., all lower casings. This chick is nice. She tall, though. Taller than I like, but she's beautiful, though. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? What's your I'm name? I'm Tata. I'm, I'm Dang. What's up? So you got a minute to talk for a second? No, I'm sorry. Don't you think you're too old? Uh, hold I on. Mean, Let me call you right back. Don't you think you're too old to be trying to talk to me? I mean, I'm just trying to just be friendly. I just moved out here. I'm trying to just like, just trying to meet nice people. Nah, you seem like a nice... You don't think I some perverted stuff? Perverted? Yeah. Do I look like a pervert to you? Maybe. I don't know. Wow. You trying to get a young girl? I'm just trying to just get the well, note. Good, wow. You have a nice day. Sorry to bother you. Call me a pervert, bro. <laughs> Pseudo. And no. Now, why he would be shocked that somebody would finally call him a pervert? He out here trying to get younger. Well, you out here trying to get younger. See, t typically in situations like that, um, when people do that, people be like, man, where you? The, 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 the girl will ask, hey, bro, where you from? Or the dude may ask, hey, where you from? And they be like, well, I'm from such and such. Like, Hold on, you know, then they start naming off people. You know such and such, you know such and such, you know this dude, you know her, you know this, that, this. And then once you say, yeah, I heard of that, I heard of that, they're going to ask you the question, where you where you be hanging out at? You be over by such and such? Oh, you know what? You such and such people, ain't you? And then what they're going to do, they're going to sit up there and clown your ass. And if they got access to that person's people that you with, they're going to hit that motherfucker. Like, hey, man, you know, your uncle child, nigga, your uncle child getting me or your such and try to get in me. And then what they do. It's, this is for people that know. If you know, you know. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you have because you, you have no experience in this field. But and then and then and then what happens? Oh, well, that nigga did have a nice car though. You know what I'm saying? He did have a nice ride. That nigga did have a watch on. Shit, I may see can I get that nigga to pay my cell phone bill? And then yeah, he, come on, man, y'all know how this shit go, bro. But for him to act shocked that somebody who's young actually called him a perp, like that's shocking to me that he act shocked that somebody called him that. Like all I said was hi to him. Oh well. Excuse me. Yeah, this. Yeah, this one of them. Why? What's up? That's nice. Yeah. What you do? I'm not. You the same one who was on the sidewalk calling me perverts and stuff? Yeah, we could be friends. Oh. Oh, I do a lot of stuff. Yeah. Can you tell me about it? I mean, Can what's I your name again? Tata, nice to meet you. I'm sorry. All right, I'm Damien. Like, was you going through something? Like, was you mad you had no, a bad day or something? Yeah, I've been going through a lot. All right, so as an older cat, if you are 45 or 50 and up, as an older cat, if a shorty is way younger than you, clearly she likes she's in her 20s somewhere. We don't know. Um, some, some of the motherfuckers be, they look like they 24, be 25, 20, whatever. Y'all get what I'm saying. But anyways, for... Anyways, for you older cats, I'm going to give y'all niggas some game. Anytime a younger shorty say, hey, we could just be friends. What they actually mean is, hey, if I need a ride somewhere, can you come Can you come take me and drop me off? And, hey, if I need a, if I need an extra 20 bucks for some gas, are you going to be able to give me that? Hey, man, um, I haven't ate today, man. Um, I'm, I was wanting some Waffle House. I say Waffle House because it's universal, okay? Everybody, every fucking place has a Waffle House. So don't be like, well, why do you say Waffle House? I say that just because it's universal. Like I can say Burger King and McDonald's. But I want some Waffle House, but only got, I, I, my check don't come to tonight. Basically what they're saying is, hey, can you take me to Waffle House? So just be on alert for younger chicks hollering at you older niggas talking about we can just be friends. Now, that is 80% of the time. Now, most some there's a twenty percent out there that's gonna sit up there and maybe ask you for a ride here or there, maybe ask you this and that, but they actually they ain't trying to use you. They actually just being cool with you, just an older nigga. They you know what I'm saying they feel like they can sew some game up from you and stuff like that. So make sure y'all are very aware of that old older ass niggas. So um, that being said, let's continue watching this stuff, man. Okay, let me check you out here real quick. I mean, is that all you though? 
Yes, all natural. You like natural? All natural. Yes, I yeah, do. I, I do. Natural yourself. Yeah, I'm I definitely like natural. So, I like, know. are you busy? Like, because you was like. No, can, can I sit in the car? I mean, go hop in for a second. Yeah. You gonna open the door for me? Nah, because you was rude. We'll see if I open the door when you get out, though. You wanna be rude and then want me to open the door for you. That don't even make sense. <laughs> you didn't call me a pervert. <laughs> Let me open the door. You know how that made me feel? It's like, nah. Well, you know, this is Houston, so you know, I gotta be careful. And yeah. I gotta make sure you know your intentions is right. Yeah, my intentions is right. All I always did was just spoke to you. Just, you know, I'm, I just moved here. I'm, I'm trying to meet people. Okay. And everybody I meet seem to be like, just rude as fuck. Like, yeah. and like for no reason, it's like, so uh -huh. tell me about yourself since we talking about Houston. So, so where you from? Um, I'm from Cali. Yeah, I'm from the Bay Area. But where are you from? I'm from Indiana. Yeah. Born and raised. Yeah. Oh, okay. You didn't tell me what you do. I you it's you didn't nice. give me a chance to tell you what I did. You just came off like. I, I apologize. I'm sorry. I've been going through a lot today. Me and one of my friends got into it, so I was just walking back. We got into a whole incident, but okay. I'm glad I met you in the way. Yeah, me too. I'm I'm still trying to like come back down a little bit because I'm like I came back to the car, my feelings was hurt. I'm like, man. All right, so the energy that he's giving off and how he's speaking, I came back to the car, my feelings was hurt, this, this. That is a makeup for a disaster on his end, if he's actually authentic with his feelings. Uh and the reason I say that is because these you see how she breathing like hyena. She like she looking around. Oh, this is nice. She breathing like hyena while he's over this in his feeling. Oh, I got hurt. I was this. These women will particular will proceed to be like, oh, it's okay. Well, I can do something to make that up. Well, I can make that up to you. This, that, that. They won't even initially. I'm. I'll be one it. They won't even initially ask you for bread. Like, and this is and this is what's. It, this is what's going to be a trigger of mine in this video whenever I guarantee she's going to ask him for something. Uh, some, something. You know how this nigga's videos be. But they won't even ask you for no bread or nothing like that up front. They may ask you, hey, can you just drop me off here? And then, hey, well, what are you doing? Well, maybe I can come over later, you know, make you feel better. You know, and okay. Then you invite her over. They're still not going to ask you for stuff. They're not going to ask you for money for this, money for that, money for that. No, no, no. What they're going to do is... They gonna put it on you, that well not you. Know, they gonna put it on the dude, and then after that, then that's when they may ask. Well, they may ask. Well, hey, can I get like twenty dollars? They're gonna ask for something real small. Women like that, as far as her, you know what I'm saying? Can I get like twenty dollars? Uh, you know, I'm trying to do this bridge pay on my phone to make sure it doesn't get cut off. And she didn't suck the hell out of the niggas dick and fuck the shit out of him. He's gonna be like, well, how much is your bill? Well, shit, fuck twenty dollars here. Here you go. I pay the whole bill. See. So when I do these videos and a lot of y'all cats, like I saw a lot of you hating niggas in the comment section, which I love for y'all to come to the comment section. Y'all really wasn't understanding the perspective. Y'all only understood one perspective. They came back to a car, they asked for this, they asked for that, and they're a gold digger. No, 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 no. See, this is a whole other different element that a lot of y'all motherfuckers don't understand. Uh, basically, they have, basically it's, it's almost like a setup for them to continue to get you because they treat you how we treat the woman, meaning that we holler, we holler, we holler at a woman, bring her, you know, she may say, yeah, I'll come over. And then she may just come over. You may, you, you may start giving her a massage. Then you may smash her and she may be hooked on you because she ain't never been smashed like that, right? And then from there, that's when she's on you. You may tell her to go do this, do this, and she's cool with doing that because you didn't, you didn't got her hooked. That's the same thing that these women be doing to these men. Okay, yeah, oh, you this, you that. Okay, I'm gonna go put it on this nigga real quick. So make this nigga fall in love with me so I can get this nigga for wherever I want to get him from. But yeah, she breathes like a hyena, man. And uh, we're gonna see where this go at. I'm like, sorry, I don't like, mean to hurt your feelings. I like, apologize. Why is it just the beautiful women that be like that? Like, like why? We gotta be careful sometimes, you know? I gotta make sure intentions is right. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. I get it, I get it. Well, I'm glad that you came back. Yeah, what you into today? I mean, Think if I want to get something to eat, I am kind of hungry. Yeah, what you trying to eat? Maybe uh, I don't know some steak or something. Yeah, I like steak houses. What's your favorite place? I like steak houses as well. Yeah. I like steak houses. I like a lot of seafood. No, I'm not gonna lie. I like like the crab legs. Yeah, and stuff. me too. I'm free today. I mean, I'm not doing nothing. You free? So tell yeah. me about yourself. I mean, shit. Are you? I mean, like, you got a dude or anything? Are you married? No, you got a woman? I'm single. No, I'm single. So why you and single? I'm so, oh, like yeah, I'm into man, yeah. Okay. And black man, chocolate man. 
I would hope yeah. so. I mean, you got some black women that's into white dudes, but yeah. not all. No. So yeah, like, I like black men. So you like your meat, her? Mm-hmm. Meaning, you know, that's well done. Yeah. Mm, I'm definitely well done. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, what type of, like, what, you know, what type of restaurants you like to eat at steakhouses and stuff? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, so, I like Mastro's, Ruth Chris. I'm into all of it. You know, some lobster, macaroni, and cheese. Let's see if we can get some lemon drops. You drink? Occasionally. Yeah? yeah. What you be drinking, huh? Tequila. Yeah, okay. I'm an 1800 I like that. Type, yeah, I'm an 1800 type dude. Oh, okay. I like 1942, you know, Don Julio. Yeah. Casamigos. Casamigos, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, they say the Casamigos bring out the free. <laughs> hey, shit. I'm trying to get mine on, too. Yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, well, I told you I'm free today. So, like, what other stuff you like to do besides, like, going out to eat and stuff? Um, I like going shopping. I love them all. Okay. I love going shopping. Um, I like going on vacations. I love traveling. Do you travel? Yeah, I travel a lot, actually. Yeah? Where yeah. have you been? Italy, France. I haven't been to a lot of places. Um, went to Hawaii a couple times. Yeah? Florida. You need a traveling buddy? I mean, I'm still trying to figure that out right now. Yeah? I'm trying to still meet her. Mm -hmm. I can be that. Can you? Yeah. So, let me ask you something, though. What's like, up? You said that you like shopping and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You named off nothing but high end restaurants, mm -hmm. like like on like the very very first date. Say for instance, like if I was to say I wanted to like get your number and then pick you up around eight o'clock, mm -hmm. like like do it got to be like a five star restaurant off the gate, and do we got to go straight to the mall the same day? Or that's something that we can do over time. No, but it has to be something nice. I mean, I don't want to eat nothing in the mall. All right, so there was a lot said. She said, she said she likes traveling. She likes to do this. She likes to do that, right? Uh, traveling, shopping. Asked her if he needed a traveling buddy. Um, like shopping. So he wants to mention, okay, so does it have to be the five-star restaurant off the bat? Does it have to be that? Bro, no. It does not. Listen. <clears throat> Shorty is, listen, y'all. Okay. We would consider these bras hoes. Okay. So there's no way in hell. I'm going to approach a shorty looking like her, walking down the street with her titties and all this shit out, right? Use your log use the logical side of your fucking brain here, okay? Um, hopefully logical side of your brain, both of them. But there's no way I'm chasing this down. Hauling at this with the titties out and all this, and even remotely close to thinking of taking it to the most expensive restaurant, bro. Like, this is where these niggas be fucking out of. This right here is where, um, how can I put this? This is where they they trick your mind into making you believe that a particular woman like this is a gold digger. No, this is called a hoe. According to the content, and we got to say this, we don't know her in real life, but according to what we see, according to my experiences, when women walk down the street like this, they're either they're accessible to sex. They're accessible to whatever. They're accessible to them. Pull your titty out. Them titties is big. Like I'm the last thing in my mind is taking her to the most expensive five star restaurant to eat, bro. Yet, like she said, it can't be no regular restaurant in the mall. Like I'm not gonna go to the mall and, and sit and eat pizza in the mall on the fucking first day. No, we can go somewhere this 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 somewhat decent. But I'm not taking, no, like, come on, man. And even at that, I probably wouldn't even take a short, I wouldn't even take a shorty out like this to a fucking restaurant, bro. I'm going to the crib with it. And if it's that serious to really get something to eat, if I'm hungry, um, then okay, i order some fucking DoorDash or Uber or something like that. These motherfuckers got y'all so fucked up thinking that just because somebody has nice titties, nice ass, a pretty face, that they're wife material. No, bro. Like, y'all need to get y'all head in the game, man. That's why so many of you niggas be getting hurt. That's why so many of you niggas be in, are sitting in jail fucked up behind a bitch who had a, who had a nice, nice titties, nice ass, some good coochie, and a pretty face. But she was a hoe. Like, niggas is crashing out not over trophy wives. Niggas is crashing out over hoes, bro. Like, niggas is crazy, man. This is a hoe. Anyways, let's continue. You know, but I mean, you gotta take a shot on the first day. I, mean, I, I, I have my own instances, but well, eventually, I'm just trying to figure out, like, 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 we can't do something basic. 
like just to get to know each other, like jack in a box basic or something. I mean, you. but you have to eat, don't you? Right. But so let me ask do you this. I look basic to you? Well, I mean, let me ask you this. I mean, where do you think I rank at? Let me know. You were nice, Tim. Okay. Okay, so let me ask you this though. What did you eat today? Um Did you eat at a five star restaurant today? Um, I mean, I cooked today. See. Stuff yeah, like this morning. Yeah, I, I made breakfast. I can cook. Don't that, you need a woman that can cook for you? I do. Right. But I so, need a woman first. I need to know that I got a good woman. I'm not like you, you seem to be cool. But I do know a hundred thousand percent facts, Tamika, that you're a gold digger. I know this because I feel it in my heart. Now, she is not a gold digger, brother. She is simply like what I've already explained throughout the whole entire video. Simply a person who's taking an opportunity, being optimistic. Okay, this old nigga, this, I know how to handle these niggas. Yes, she's going to hit a lick on you. Why is she going to hit a lick on you? Because there's an age gap, an age range. Um... No, she's not going to take you for everything. Why is she Why is she not going to take you for everything? Because she's clearly smart enough, according to what I've seen, according to how she, how, she, how she actually talked, right? Because I say that because she didn't ask him for shit. The only thing that I heard her asking him for, hey, do you need a traveling buddy? See, y'all have to peep the whole storyline. You just can't peep everything she just said. I like this, I like that. Come back, this, that, all your old nigga, I can cook for you. She didn't ask, she didn't ask this nigga for one thing. And I told y'all, these type of particular women, they're not going to ask you for nothing up front. They're going to be cool with being in the presence of somebody who got something. They're going to, when you get them to the crib, they're going to do what you tell them to do. They're going to suck your, they're going to get you real right. Like the best, they're going to try to do the best they can do. Like it's game seven and, and it's, and it's four seconds left, and they only get one shot. That's how they're going to treat that sexual experience with you. And then after that, they're going to try to, let me, can you take me here? Or can I drive the car here? Or can I have $30? They're, they're not going to immediately go for the gusto. Like, I need a band. I need a rack. I need, they're not going to do that. See, them are the smart people. So Shorty is not no gold digger. Play it. Because she didn't ask you for anything. And she kept talking about, she said this twice in the video, if, if y'all didn't pay attention. I did it for you. She, she said, well, I told you I'm free today. She told a nigga twice that she's free today. And what did he do? He, he let it go over his head to talk about stuff that's completely irrelevant to you talk about a good woman. She's talking about hanging out, bro. Like you, you see the difference? He's talking about he's talking about to her. He's looking for a good woman. I want to get to know a person, make sure she's a good woman. That's a hoe, bro. That's not a good woman. And you being on the level that you are with Lambo's money, have taken all these damn trips overseas, you should know the difference between a good woman, a good businesswoman, a hoe, or... I mean, come on, man. You, 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 you can't... You, you, I can't believe he put this shit out like this, bro. And really, push, and really trying to push this gold digger narrative and his message with this crap, man. Man. I know a gold digger. Are you digger. calling me a gold digger? No, I'm calling you a gold digger, Tamika. Oh, you. Oh, wow. Are you serious? But you was just trying to get at me and you sitting here and you with your old trying to get at me and trying to get my number, but I'm the gold digger? But why not the one that looked like a pervert to you on a sidewalk? Yeah, you and seen? you still look like a pervert. But look That's at you, That's crazy. Though. You got gray hair and you what, like 19? And you got 20. gray hair, too. I'm supposed to have gray hair. Okay. So what's your excuse? Because I'm a bad I can do that. Oh, is that what yeah. they be lying to you telling yeah. me? Yeah. No, be... it ain't nothing to lie. You know what's a lie? You a lie. Gold That's digger. crazy. Okay. Sing it with me. Gold digger. You know what? I think yeah. you are. Gold digger. Sitting in my Bird, car. Bird, 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 You. Yo, 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 breast is. You. Your breast is. Your shirt. Your booty look. Yeah, it's definitely you fake. A, you a hate. Hate. Small. You probably can't even get it up. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be able to get it up with you because you definitely don't turn me on. They all the same, man. You hear what I'm saying? She's on this Mastro's top notch, but yet she told, she couldn't tell me which fancy restaurant that she went to yesterday or today. She said that she cooked at home. You know why? Because she's a base chick. These chicks kill me when they get their hair done and their lashes and all of a sudden, they- Hey, she roasted his ass at the end, man. She, she ain't hit him too bad, but 
Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think about that video. Um, Damien, you very comical for actually releasing this video. Uh, seem like I think we already react to this video. I say that about all the fucking videos that we already react to the video. But yeah, that was just, bro, that was just some straight, you put her on, you put her on, 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 on D, on D sucking duty, bro. That's the little shorty you hit up when you just don't want to smash no coochie and you just want to get right, you want to get topped off. The, True players know what I mean, bro. You all the bras you come across, you don't you don't stick your thing all up in their vagina, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some motherfuckers you just get top from. I'm gonna get top from you. I'm cool. Some motherfuckers you get top and you smash. You know what I'm saying? You just don't stick your thing in all the vaginas all the time. Some some people don't deserve to get the rod up in them, man. But anyways, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video, man. And we are out until the next one.